so my first exposure of like a computer was when I was um, I believe like 11 years old and it in many ways just opened up my world in this incredible way and I learned to code and I was trying to make these like very basic HTML websites and really from there to today you know I feel like my generation or people around me are constantly exposed to technologies but they don't really recognize how these technologies are created what is being developed and whether these technologies are actually helping them or there, there needs to be certain changes and i think as i became more and more involved in the space through my various roles whether it was you know when i was working for meta or when i was working for a large philanthropic organization or when i was working for the government i think in these various roles it just became very clear to me that um that you know what we are using today is or, or sort of what the user interface is showing us is just a fraction of technology and there needs to be a lot of really important work that needs to be done in order to make sure the policies that are shaping them and, and the way they're governed is actually beneficial to humanity so there is a long standing belief that technology is the great equalizer that it can make the world you know much smaller that it can uh, create ways for the voices we never hear from to become part of a conversation that can make our lives more efficient, uh, more straightforward um, and more economically rewarding. But I think in order for technology to really be the great equalizer, there has to be a lot of intentionality baked into how it's being designed, how it's being developed, um, how it's being deployed and finally how it's being governed. If you're somebody who's trying to break into this career, don't feel like you don't belong here because you're not coming from a certain field that is supposed to be the tech field, right? I think anybody can become a part of it. And I think we need more diverse voices to be a part of it. And so, uh, you know, push through, fight through. It's really hard, but find your tribe. Sometimes you're gonna find, you're gonna find them within the tech spaces themselves. Sometimes you're gonna find them outside of it, but find your tribe. But I do hope you continue to also break through those and hopefully along the way you're going to make a couple of people upset but you don't give up and, and you push through because we need you and we need your voices and we need your experiences and we need lots and lots of women and especially women of color, women from the global south to be in the field of technology.